What's going on guys, it's Kusen Tech here and today I'm going to show you how to use overlays and bezels in RetroArch. Also, if you want to learn how to create yours or if you want to get a very full package of bezels, stay tuned for next videos and I will be leaving the links of those videos in the comments for easier access. So, are you ready? Alright then, you must know that overlays and bezels are pretty much the same thing, but in different words. In RetroArch, it is called overlay, but in other frontends like Hyperspin, it is called bezels. And there is something called the Bezel Project, which is a pretty cool fan-made project that has some years ago in development. And I am gonna talk to you about that in another video, so be sure to stay tuned. And now we are going to configure overlays for each course individually. That means, for example, when you open the GBA core, it will have the GBA overlay or whichever other overlay you add to it. And no other core will use that overlay. Alright, let's begin. First, if you don't have one yet, you can get your copy of RetroArch in this website. And I will be leaving the link for this website in the description, in case you want to. So now let's open RetroArch. Alright, once here, the first thing you want to do is go in here, Main Menu, Online Updater, and then Update Overlays. Once done, let's go back, proceed to choose your game and the core of your choice. In my case, I'm going to go to Super Nintendo, let's say Top Gear, yes, then hit Run. Once here, press F1, scroll down, and open this one that says On Screen Overlay. Once here, let's install the overlay, by going here, Overlay Preset, and here we have a few folders, the one that we carry is this one, Borders. Here we have a few options so far, one for Game Boy, and a few for SNES, and old TV, and one for DNS. In my case, I'm gonna choose Demon Crest. Okay, now turn this option off to be able to see the overlay. And as you can see, this is our overlay here, but the in-game screen is very big for it. We can do one of two things. We can resize the in-game screen to fit this, or we can increase the size of the overlay to make it bigger. I'm gonna go to the first one, to make the in-game screen to fit in this border. But first, in this option that says overlay opacity, we can actually decrease that number to be able to see the in-game menu with the overlay on like that. And here in overlay scale, we can make it bigger in case we want to. Now, how can we fit the screen in this border? Simple, let's go back, settings, video, scaling, and here in aspect ratio, choose custom. Now we have to play with these four options, exposition, white position, width and height, in order for us to be able to fit the in-game screen in the vessel by increasing the numbers, like this. Now if you press F1, you can see how it looks like. It's still not completed, you can see it right here. That's much better. Now let's go back. Main menu. Quick menu. Scroll down. On screen overlay. Turn this option on. Now you can see that it looks much better. It's already finished. But with a difference that is not completed. We need to increase this opacity to 100. To 1.0. Perfect. Press F1 and look at this. Excellent. 
Now let's save our changes. Let's go back and open this option that says Overrise. Now here we have three options, save core, save content directory, and save game. The first one is in case you want to make every game that is in any location to open with this core to use this overlay. The second one is only for the games that you have in one folder that you will open with this core. The third one is only for the game that you have open right now. In my case, it's for Top Gear. Now, personally, I prefer to use the second one in case the overlay is something like general, but if you have a vessel for a specific game, you can choose this option, Save Game. Let me save this one here. Now, as you can see, I have done this on Windows mode, but if I go to full screen, the proportions are going to be different. Let me show you how. Go back, settings, video, full screen mode, turn on. As, as you can see, the proportions are not the same. We have a big black line right here. And if we go to Windows mode, this black line won't be here. Now, let me show you how to add more overlays. Let me close this. Now open your directory where you have the RetroArch installed. It's here. Then go to, to Overlays. And you can copy anywhere you want, but I prefer to have them here in borders. Now let me copy one that I made right here. Now to show you that it works, open it. Open the game, in my case, this is for Mega Man X. I'm going back. And here, borders, this one. Looks fine, right? That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you like the video, hit like. If you don't like it, hit dislike and remember to leave me your feedback in the comment section. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.